I was born on a farmstead out of Chafee. I started school when I was only five years old because my father was the clerk of the school board and he was the one that hired the teachers and there was a couple that had their daughter was old enough to start school in the country school and so he did this this family didn't want her to be the only child in the first grade so they convinced my father and mother that I would start school with this girl so I was only only five years old so I went to a country school for the grades and two years of high school and of course being in a country school there weren't very wasn't much competition you know so then I went to Chafee for the to graduate and that was three and a half miles from my hometown and then I went to the Chafee school and graduated from the high school in Chafee and uh, and then of course I always wanted to be a teacher in those days, you could go to Val City to the Teachers College and get a teaching certificate to teach in a country school by just going one quarter. And of course, but most girls at that time, they went the whole term. Then you got a higher grade yeah, teaching certificate. But I was bound determined I wanted to be a teacher, so I went just one quarter to Val City, just the winter quarter, and I got a teaching certificate to teach in a country school. But then the, the problem that I had was that I wasn't old enough. See, I graduated from high school when I was 16. Here I went that quarter, then I was only 17. And of course, I, I got the certificate, but I couldn't teach. So then one year, I was at home. Then the next year, I got a job teaching in a country school out in Logan County in the country. And I had all eight grades, and uh, I had eight little beginners. And this was a German-Russian territory, so that the children, when they came to school, they didn't speak English. So my punishment for them, if, I, if they talked German, they had to come in and sit with me. They couldn't go out and play for at recess time, but that wasn't any punishment for them because they could be with the teacher then. <laughs> I taught for eight years and then I got married. <laughs> I moved in in September, so it was a year now in September, wasn't it? I think, right. I saw I've been here a little better than a year now. When Bethany first started, the man was out soliciting around the country to get people to donate to buy that house. And, and we were farming south of Emden at that time. We were married, and my husband and we were farming south of Emden. And the man, the, I, I can't remember his name, but he was a pastor. And he came and he told us that they were buying this house on A Street for Bethany, for old people. And, and I remember it so well, if I only wish that I'd have kept the check because we gave him a check because he was a Norwegian and I was German, but my husband was Norwegian. So they had the best visit together. And then when he left, he said, well, now you got your first payment on Bethany. <laughs> First, we, when we were young, we didn't have a horse. We just drove a horse and buggy, you know. And I can remember when we went to church, we, you know, the buggies that you had in those days for a family, there was two seated buggies. I don't even know, we don't, I, I don't even have a picture of that anymore. But you used to have a two seated buggy where you, you could hold and that's when we, we had, went to church with the horse and buggy. And in the winter time, we went with the horse and sled. That was our only means of transportation. And of course, I remember when we got the first car, that was really something to have a car we could ride in. <laughs>